resolving a vector means that uh, one vector which can be projected at uh, some angles can have it is uh, uh, components. The two components of a vector is horizontal component and the vertical component. See that uh, if a vector can be, if one vector can be projected at some angle theta, at some angle theta, assume that this one is a vector A, it can be projected on some angle theta. This vector can, this vector have a two components. Those two components are the horizontal, horizontal component and vertical components, vertical components. Let's see that if, if we using a coordinate planes, this one is a y coordinate and this one is the x coordinate. Depending on this coordinate planes, this vector here can be projected from x coordinate at some angle theta in this directions. That means at that angle, uh, these two components, that means a vertical component of this vector A and another one is this one. That means the horizontal component of this vector A. So the vertical component of this vector A expressed by AY or vector A in Y component and this is a vector A in X components in X components. See that, see that, uh, this can be looks like a right angle triangle, a right angle triangle here, the um, vertical component and horizontal component can be make a perpendicular, make a perpendicular. Depending on uh, right angle triangle rule, depending on right angle triangle, the sign of angle theta, according to right angle triangle, the sign of theta as equal to opposite side, opposite side over, it is hypotenuse. That means, opposite side means that the vertical component of a vector A over hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is a vector A, a vector A. Now, this implies that sine theta, which is equal to the vertical component AY over vector A. Here we have one. If you can be crisscross it, we get that AY. That means the vertical component of this vector A given as a vector A times sine of theta, or at the angle at which projected. projected. This one is the vertical component vertical component of vector A. Another one is, it is a horizontal component, that means AX. Now, to get this uh, horizontal component from this right uh, triangle, we have the cosine of this angle theta, which is equal to adjacent side over, it is hypotenuse, implies that the adjacent side is this AX or the horizontal component of this and horizontal component. This gives that, gives that the cosine theta which is equal to the horizontal component AX over vector A. To get this horizontal component A, AX, horizontal component of this vector AX which is equal to vector A times cosine of that angle theta, cosine of angle theta at which the vector A is projected. This is the horizontal component of that vector A, horizontal component of that vector A. Horizontal component is A times cos theta and it is vertical component is vector A times sine of angle. The resultant of these two components, the resultant Resultant of these two components, resultant of 
uh, these two components of two components. That means now you say that vector A is equal to since it have two components in x direction plus in y direction you express the vector A as it is two components horizontal component plus its vertical component gives the vector A. The magnitude of this vector A is given as the magnitude of vector A is given as and the radical of it is two components scale ax plus ay scale this is the magnitude of this vector a another is the direction the direction at which this vector a is projected the direction of this uh, vector a magnitude you can be find such like this and its direction is its direction is its direction is determined as the tan of this angle theta, tan of theta is equal to the opposite side, that means vertical component A, Y over the adjacent A, X. This is the direction at which this vector A projected, this vector A projected. Its magnitude can be represented by this, and its direction is given by this tan theta which is equal to a y over a x or vertical component over horizontal component then theta is equal to tan inverse of this uh, vertical component ratio with horizontal components which is how uh, resolving a vector now resolving a vector mallet and angle like projection and vector with the two component which is the two component which horizontal component and vertical component which is the vector a the uh, x coordinate angle theta like projected corner with a more and angle like projected me on corner with the two component which vertical component in the balloon in the horizontal component in the balloon in your vector a uh, horizontal component in the bar a x vector alone along x direction and now uh, vertical component from more along y direction coordinate plane in the come a y vertical component a y allen uh, and then diagram it was draw which in diagram it was true which diagram the norm is a right angle triangle is a right angle triangle right angle triangle like demo um yeah angle one sine yeah angle one cosine and yeah angle one tan in this in the middle like yeah it's after more touching line like well then ziga matter la misala yeah zich angle sign been felic opposite side over hypotenuse side is a general but each diagram with a music about the alienate yeah triangle with a more that's your right angle triangle but opposite side a while that hypotenuse what a more you know vector you know but the mark and then uh, vertical component um, a y a times sine theta on a vertical component um. call it to component and the component but you know must come as in challenge lila nyo way the movie with any component um, symphonic cosine theta way the movie is the angle cosine symphonic adjacent side over hypotenuse on a lane in triangle but the regulometric relation you cosine in now you sign symphonic at your cosine theta adjacent over side now by the center of a cool way the mobile Jason to Bakul is in theta adjacent in your component no horizontal component AX over angle A yona because the horizontal component X in a scammed a damn cos theta yona resultant to simply gown wait a more you will to component to cheesy vector A satunal will a component to shroud it will to component mass come at central and A vector A without it component to a tolina and then you have AX now with a new AY now AX a cos theta no, a y demo, a sin theta no. But anu sin nas kamet, but zimal kum, magnet yudo vector is equal to under radical of a x square plus a y square na. A vector direction wo di tin daona. Ye, ye ulit component yallo. Vector direction wo di tin daona sin felik demo. Tan theta, mo demo kasi yu kolomitik relation. Tan theta ta ta kame na min felik ko. Tan theta, a y over a x yona. Tan theta means that uh, opposite over adjacent no? opposite vertical component to allen by adjacent to the mo uh, horizontal component to allen then you get that you get that theta which is equal to tan inverse of the y over ax and again you allen marin no hey direction no 
Okay. Uh, three vectors can be given in this coordinate plane. Uh, find the magnitude of the resultant of three vectors. The resultant vectors of these three, mag these three vectors is equal to how much? That means the resultant vectors are which is equal to vector Q plus vector T plus vector P. Ve vector Q have two components, QX and QY. Vector T have two components, Ty and Tx. And the vector P have Px and Py components. Then, uh, then you get the resultant vector R. Assume that or see that vector Q have two components, that means QX and QY in x direction and in y direction. And another is vector t have two components. Those are t in x direction and t in y direction or y component of vector t. p also, vector p have two components. That is px and py components. Well, you get the resultant. First, we fi first you find the components of the three vectors. For vector Q, vector Q have eight magnitude along x directions. It is two component Q, X, or the horizontal component of this vector Q is given as Q times cosine of theta. This is eight times its magnitude is eight. Eight times cosine of zero is cosine of zero degree. Then eight times cosine of zero is one, eight times one is eight. The horizontal component of Q is, that means Q is eight along the, its magnitude is eight and its direction is along the horizontal. When we find the vertical component of this vector Q, which is vertical component is given as Q times sine theta, vector Q times sine theta. Its magnitude is eight times sine of zero degree. Then sine of zero degree is zero, zero times eight is zero. This means that vector uh, Q have no uh, vertical components. If you see here on this coordinate plate, Q is along X direction, this magnitude is eight. We have no the vector uh, Q along vertical components, vertical components. Another is for vector T, for vector T, it is two components is horizontal component of this vector T, given as T times cosine theta. That means T times, T means that its magnitude is two times cosine of 30 degree, cosine of 30 degree. So two times cosine of 30 means that cosine of 30 is a 0 0.866. This value can be given as 1.7, you check it. And another, this vector t have a vertical component ty, which is equal to t times sine theta, sine theta. t means that its magnitude is 2 times sine of 30 degrees. That is 2 times sine of 30 degrees half. So you get here 1. The, or the, the, the vertical component of this vector t is 1. Another is for, for a vector P, for vector P, it is two components are P, Y, and P, X. Horizontal component of vector P, P, X is equal to vector P times cosine of theta. That means vector P times cosine of theta means that the angle at which vector P is projected times 60 degree. Then P is 4, its magnitude is 4, times cosine of 60 degree means that
the degree is half. Now you get that the vertical component of vector P2. It is Y component. That means the Y component of vector P is given as P times sine theta. P is 4 times sine of 60 degree. Then 4 times sine of sine of 60 degree is 0 0.8. 8, 6, 6, you get in y direction or y component of vector p, which is equal to 3.5. Approximately it is 3.5. Now, therefore, therefore, the resultant vector uh, r, resultant vector r, this vector, resultant vector r have also uh, two components, that means Resultant vector of horizontal components or Rx is Px plus Cox plus Tx. The resultant component in horizontal, uh, the resultant vector in horizontal components. Px is 2 plus Cox is 8 plus T in x direction or horizontal component is 1.7. 1.7 you sum them, which is equal to the horizontal component of three vectors is 11.7. And the y component, the y resultant component of these three vectors is given as p in y plus Co in y component plus t in y component. Then p in y is 3.5 plus co in y is 0. Then t in y component is 1. Totally, you get that the resultant component in vertical component is 4.5. 4.5. Now, from two components, you get that the magnitude of this resultant component. The magnitude of this resultant component vector R is equal to the summation under radical of x component vector scale plus y component scale. Now, you get that you get that x component is under radical of 11.7 Scale plus 4.5 scale. This is a resultant vector of these three vectors. These three vectors. The question says that find also their directions. It says that the direction of this resultant vector is given as direction of this resultant vector R is is equal to tan theta vertical component resultant vector over horizontal component resultant vectors then tan theta is equal to r in y component that means vertical component over horizontal components then tan theta is equal to as uh, y component is 4.5 over it is horizontal component is 11.5 7 then theta is equal to tan inverse of this 4.5 over 11. The direction of the resultant vector as tan inverse of this value, tan inverse of this value.